Welcome to this history class. This tutorial is to help you navigate through this online course. When you enter the course, you will come to this course homepage. It um, actually welcomes you to the course and it will take you through the first steps of getting started in this course. So make sure that you scroll down to understand exactly what you need to do to get started in this course. I'm on the right hand side as you can see where the cursor is. We have links that will help you be successful in this online environment. The Academic Assistance Center, the Smart Thinking, Smart Lab, Writing Center, Learning Support, anything that you um, that is available to our on-ground students is available to our online students as well. So make sure that you understand where those links are and how those links help to make you successful in this course. All of your coursework will be found on the content page. So if you go to the very top of the page and you um, can see the cursor hovering over the content tab, you would just press the content tab. It will take you to an index of sorts of what is going to happen in this course. Your coursework will show up one week at a time. The course begins, each week begins on Monday morning at 12.01 a.m. and closes the following Sunday even, evening at 11.59 p.m. We never close down the weeks after they've been open, but they don't open until that Sunday or Monday morning at 12.01 a.m. What you need to do when you first come into the content page, you really need to look over this information. It gives you the free downloads that you will need for this course. Each of you will need to download, and these are all free, um, the Windows Media Player and the Flash Video Player to be able to play the videos that um, are involved in the lectures in this course. I highly recommend Google Chrome as your web browser. Internet and Mozilla work. Um, but there are some workarounds within the course. You'll be prompted by text boxes um, when, that, when you need to have that workaround for a video or whatever. So make sure that you explore all of this the first couple of days of co the course. You also know that your syllabus is linked right in here. There's a welcome, um, instructions that you must read to get started, course materials and overview what's going to be needed for this course, your exam schedule is also posted here. Make sure you know when those three exams are scheduled. Exams must be taken on the day that they are scheduled. There's a 24-hour period in which you can access the exam. Once you get into the exam, you have two and a half hours to take it. The grading skill is here, um, some things on discussion questions, which you have one every week. And then you right at the very bottom here, you have a getting started quiz. Your coursework will not open until you have a hundred percent on that getting started quiz. You can take that quiz as many times as you need to take it, but you must score a hundred percent before anything opens up. When you get into the weeks, and of course I have everything open here so you can see that you've got 15 weeks of work to do. Um, the very first thing in every week is an interactive lecture. And since this is going to be a major part of the course, I wanted to make sure that you knew how to navigate through the lecture. So if you just click on this link, the lecture will come up in a new window. Make sure when this text box opens, you are hitting no, because that is what will release the videos to you. So hit no, and then the lecture will appear. You maximize it. You can see here that this lecture consists of 10 pages. This very first one is just an overview of the chapter, and you can see the terms or phrases that are in blue. If you put, hover your cursor over that, there will be a text pop-up. This actually defines the words that are highlighted here. These are the same terms that will be found on your first exam. So I would make note as I go through this lecture that, you know, Christopher Columbus it gives everything that you would need to know or anything that I would ask on the um, first exam. You can also see over here there's more information. If you were to hit Cahokia, it actually is going to take you to the Cahokia Mounds website, um, a wealth of information. This is another resource. I take advantage of the resources that we post here. To get back to the interactive lecture, you would just close this window out. That's page one of this lecture. If you go to page two, you'll find more things on the two Europe Europeans that had great impact on the new world. We've interspersed throughout all the lectures some interactive activities. 
Um, if we're talking about this map right here, you can see that it's asking you to identify the Atlantic Ocean. If we go to the Atlantic Ocean, just hover over where you think the Atlantic Ocean is. If you hit yes, it'll tell you exactly. Um, it's asking for North America. Let's say that I don't exactly know where that is. I go and hit five. And of course, it's going to tell you that's the wrong answer. You should do this interactive quiz until you make 100%. Once you make 100%, it will go to the grade book, and I know that you've done it, that you've done the work. So your goal here is to do it until you get it right. Um, also, just look on this side of almost every page. We've got other resources to help you in your studies of the two Europeans that had great impact on the New World. Again, going through each of the pages within the lecture. Um, I have used a lot of video and audio um, to help with interactive learning. And here there's another page on Christopher Columbus. And you can see that this is a video. You would just click here. Hello, I'm and Kevin course, Costner. The video Welcome begins. back to 500 Nations. You have everything you need First for a media player here. You can stop it. You can fast forward it. You can do whatever you need to do um, to make sure that you're viewing these videos. That's page three. Again, look on the side for more resources. And we can go through each page. Um, most of them either have some kind of interactivity. Here is a RSS feed on the Columbian Exchange. It's a lecture from another professor at another college. Again, if we just fast forward it to page six, we've got an uh, interactive activity here, the flashcards. Make sure when these type of things come up within the interactive lecture that you are looking and studying what information they're giving you here because you'll see these again on your first exam. Okay, again, another video. And I think on this one at the very end, you've got a matching activity. These are terms, Cahokia, Mexica, Vasco de Balboa. All of those will be found on your first exam. You do this interactive activity until you make 100%. Once you're done with the lecture, you just cl close out here, and it takes you right back to your course homepage. You would go through the inter lecture, interactive lectures for the first thing um, at the beginning of the week. Then you will take a quiz for Chapter 1. If you just click on the link, it takes you right to the quiz. Start the quiz. Take the quiz. It has to deal, deal. It deals with your textbook. You have two opportunities to take this quiz. It is open book, and you want. I'll take the best grade. So make sure that you are using your book, and it can take as. There's. It's not time, so you can take as much time as you need to score the best that you can on these quizzes. And then, of course, the third link almost every week will be a discussion question. And when you go to the discussion question, material will be presented. Hit no, of course, again. You can pull this down to get a fuller screen. Um, but the vet videos are embedded. I ask you to watch the video. And then below that, if you scroll down, there's the discussion question. Make sure that you formulate your opinion on the issue. As the question is asked, post in the discussion area. And you always need to respond to at least one other learner's post. You have to have a response of 100 words or more that fully addresses the question. You would do that by just hitting Compose after you've watched the videos, formulated your opinion. Always put a subject. You can even put Columbus um, controversy. And then you would type your response in this box here. And then you would go to the lower right-hand corner and hit Post. It will take you to the discussion thread. Now, the thing to remember about this course is that everything you need to do, all of your quizzes, all of your exams, all of your um, places to drop your assignments, and all of your discussions are linked on this page. If I could, I would turn all of these links off up top. You don't ever need to navigate through any of this. You navigate through the discussion question or the, the, the um, content page. Important to note, if we have missed something, the instructors have missed something on the content page, then you are not held responsible. If your 
going to the quiz link and you're trying to figure out what quiz you're supposed to take in this quiz link, you could make a mistake and take the wrong quiz. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure that everything, and you can see this quiz link, you get to choose which one it is. You make sure that you are using these links on the content page. Again, I'm going to warn everyone in the class, make sure that everything you do is from this content page. Even if you have an assignment, let's go down to skill unit two or skill unit one, all the skill units. Here's the assignment, and this is where you turn in your assignment. So you don't have to search through this course to find out what you're supposed to be doing. Everything is linked right here for you. Please note that this is a college class. In order to receive college credit, you must do the work. You need to make sure you know who your instructor is. You need to make sure you know how to contact your instructor. We truly are here to help you succeed in this class. We can't help you if we don't know that you're having problems. So make sure that you look on the syllabus, make sure you look on the course homepage, that you know how to identify your instructor, how to get a hold of him or her, how to contact them, and um, also figure out how to use the email system. Another note for this course, if you are me emailing from eLearn, it only goes to other people in eLearn. You cannot mail email from eLearn to an outside source. So make sure that you know how to work the email system. And if you go back to the course homepage, we put a link on exactly how to do the email. So make sure you know how to set up your email and make sure that you can um, navigate through the email. Um, I hope that you have a great success in this class. Again, note that all of your instructors are here to help you succeed. Welcome to history and have a great semester.